Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73, back with the Double E Show. So, it's Burnished Wednesday. Number two. No. So, here's the deal. I'm going to be running uh, two Banished series concurrently. I'm going to do season four with uh, Red Ketchups and DS... Uh, discrepancies, jetties, and bridges, and trade merchants. And I'm also going to be doing this series, which includes Mega Mod number 8. It's 8.01. And uh, what I wanted to do before we uh, before we get into the, uh, the building part and, and uh, settling our town, I wanted to show you all the mods that are in this mod. And... Uh, and explain why it's almost five gigabytes and uh, and takes up three files. So as you can see in the black liquid mods, these are all the mods they've decided to uh, include from black liquid. So you can see them all. And then we've got discrepancies mods, a few of which I use as... Uh, as you'll see, we've got the, where is it, Jetty and Bridge and the Thompson Trade Merchants. But these are so many other mods that he has included. And then down here, we've got EMBX61. These will be listed under EB on the mod list. And you can see that there are a number of buildings here that are uh, available. Uh, and then we've got KID1293. Uh, you may be familiar with a couple of these mods. I used them in my last uh, uh, Season 3 build of uh, Banished with mods. and uh, But so many more mods included in this. If you look, I mean, there's just... And Kid tends to um, specialize in the, the small stuff. Uh, making the small mods, the little things that... That add flavor and and then of course so much more uh, as you can see here and then we have red ketchups uh, mods in here um, we've got the the let's see the, the new medieval castle we've got new medieval town uh, 3.0 is included medieval town 2.04 um, a lot of these houses you'll see in uh, red ketchups editors choice mod um, uh, and the, the fences and things like that. But there are so many more that are included in this um, that, that he doesn't have in his editor's choice. These are just uh, uh, variable mods. And then we have the mods by others. Uh, Alex Hockey did the more climates uh, for uh, your starting conditions. Uh, Ann Gaynor, Ann Gaynor uh, did the South African housing and the mosque. Uh, Azam Okram. Uh, did uh, narrow row houses with the help of Red Ketchup, Nakora, and Crowyard. Uh, Banished Info did the Storage Cart version 2. Cooper Marang, Maring, Maring uh, did the uh, Cooper's Train Pack. So these are starting conditions. Uh, Despo uh, did the Medieval Houses. Uh, Elemental Black Liquid uh, did uh, Spring is Coming. I I'm assuming that's a a, um, a starting condition. Uh, Elfocutioner did small vendor buildings. Idle work team did uh, Camellia Crop, uh, Jatropha, Integrum, this one, and uh, the Rose Crop and Violet Crop. Mall did uh, the canal. Maldrick did uh, the wood cottage. Uh, Nanashi 11 uh, with black liquid did the Monument Angel. Uh, Pilgrim, uh, the Pilgrim with Black Liquid did the New England Colonial Buildings. Uh, Tanny Predator uh, did New Flora uh, and, and other mods there. Tom Sawyer, uh, as you'll know who does the North, Banished to the North and the Norseman mods, uh, did the White Picket Fence they used. Uh, Voel, uh, Voel, Vo, Voel. Uh, did decorative plants. Winton did uh, End of Roads, uh, Eporium, and Coastal House. Uh, Yanderson uh, improved farming, improved forester, improved gatherer's hut, improved herbalist, improved hunting cabin, improved mine, improved woodcutter. These are changes to the, the base um, and made them better. And then 
I'm assuming that's uh, Zay's. I have no idea. One stop all mining. So there, there is one you put down and uh, you can get everything out of the ground from that. And those are all the mods. So it is a uh, metric ton of mods included in Mega Mod. So with that said, let's get into it. All right, here we are in Banished Mega Mod 8.01. Okay, so here's the map seed. I've got uh, the map name Modzonia. This is my map seed, which is actually my start date on YouTube. Uh, we're going to do flat with water, uh, large train size. We're going to do perfect climate. We are going to do disasters on, and we are starting Appalachian Forest hard. Um, which means I think we start with three families, a cart, uh, nothing built, no seeds. All right. So we're going to come in here. We're going to resume. And this is what the map looks like. Um, so we do have a number of, of lakes, which is really good. And uh, we have a large river that comes up through. We've got a couple of streams. Got a stream that runs down through here, which is nice. A couple of off-branch streams. This map looks really good. And there's no mountains. So with no mountains, it means no mountain mining. We will have to use the ground mines, which is perfectly fine with me. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get her underway. All right, so let's take a look at the terrain here a little bit. Zoom out. Get some... Got a, just a little ways to go over here to the, uh, to the lake, which is good. What's that? Oh, it's a little bit of stone. A little bit of stone on the water. All right, so let's uh, let's figure out what we're gonna do here. So from from the lakes down, we will have city. From the lakes down, we will have our city. From the lakes, from the the, the double lakes up, and over this way, we are going to have our forestry gathering, fishing, um, this lake here we will utilize for uh, clay and sand and things like that. So um, let's see, here's our cart. We have 14 citizens, okay, which uh, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, four families, okay, not three. All right, so there's our cart. So let's look at the there we go. So we want to come directly over from here. So we're going to start out um, with a road going straight across right over here to the water's edge. Okay. That way we've, we've got that ready to go. Now if we come up here to the top of the lake and we take this road okay can't go there but can I go there with it no nope. need to come out here All right so there's a road there and road there can't see where I put in the other road. Now can I? Yes I can. Right there. I'll go just like that. Alright. And just like that, right? I come straight back over. Yeah. Okay. So we know they're gonna start building the road right away, which is kind of ridiculous, but that's what happens. Um, what we want to do first is we're going to utilize this area right off the bat for our, um, our starting position. So I'm going to come in here, zoom way up. Um, I want to come into the mod collections. No, 
theme set. I'm going to come over forest center. No, is it in here? Forest center. No, this isn't the one I'm looking for. Okay, hold on a second. I will find it. This is this is the thing with uh, Mega Mod is it's a, it's a, it's going to be big, and so there's going to be a lot of stuff you got to try to find. Buildings for forests. That's AT Forester. It's not what I'm looking for. Uh, old buildings, old castles, mini buildings. No, not in here, is it? No. I will find you. Themed sets. Uh, refined resources. No. So. Hmm. Hmm. It is, it is in theme sets, isn't it? Down here, flax gatherer. Here's all our foresters. But the dense forester is not in there. Okay, it's not that. Uh, forest lodge. Pine trees. Bamboo. Palms. New trees. Village Forester, regular Forester. So it is in the theme sets. Let, let me find it. Let me find it. Walls and buildings. Docks, Smuggler's Cave, Fort, Native, Modular, Row Houses, Row Houses, Colonial, Plymouth, Build a Mission, Grow Agave, Buildings for Tequila. Uh, Western Frontier, New Medieval Town, Forest Toolbar, no, no, uh, Tangerine Center, uh, a park, surrounding buildings, friendly neighborhood, buildings for your tool production, Tool shed, alchemy talk, okay, got that. Farm buildings for the Gothic fantasy set. Workplace, buildings for growing plants and making pie. I want some pie. Forest outpost, regular forester, no, okay. Buildings for swamp dwellers, buildings for the forest. That's just a regular forester. Yeah, he's just a regular forester. Building for forest. Deep buildings. Okay, no. Uh, EB themed village set. That's a village resource production. Village forest lodge. Standard. Okay. New medieval town. Build a tiny row house. Canal set. Druidic. Okay. Coming in here. No. Coming in here, additional modders toolbar, uh, resource production, forest lodge, uh, decorative items, no, there, 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 no, that's decorative trees, hmm. Here it is, renewable resources. So under resource production, renewable resources, dense, dense tree shacks. So these guys plant a lot of trees in a small area. So let's uh, come down here. We'll bring them into the clearing so I can find it. All right, so R, 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 there we go. Okay, so that's the entrance. So we're going to go like this. All right. And we're going to come in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right there. Now we're going to zoom right out. I'm going to grab another one.
Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab the road. It's going to be this country road. Right? Yeah, country road for sure. Okay. I'm going to come straight up like this. Okay. I'm going to come back in here. Flax gatherer, renewable resources. I want to make sure that I didn't rotate it at all. So we're going to come just like this. Okay, slightly overlap. Right, want to make sure it's one off the road. Boom. You're going like that. Then we're coming up here. Again with the road. Again with the road, I want to make sure that it came straight down. And it did. Okay. So now we're going to come back in here. Come back into renewable. Right here. And boom. Okay. So that's, uh, that's three tree shacks. They're going to be nice and dense. We should get plenty of logs out of them. And we got that mapped. And it ended up not overlapping there anyways. And not overlapping there after putting it down. Very good. Okay, that's fine. That'll work. Now, coming down into here. I'm going to come in and let's see stockpiles so rk stockpiles storing only logs and how long can i make it so it can be 30 long right so 30 long back up here we'll put a second one in and it will also be 30 long okay so that's uh, two of those now I want to come in here I want to do a stone stockpile and you are going to be a 30 long by one and 30 long by 2. Yep. And then, uh, let's see. Stockpiles iron, but not iron ore. Uh, firewood. Minerals. Storing only mineral items. So I'm assuming like iron ore and things like that. So I'm going to put one stockpile. 30 long. Right there. Boom. Okay, now the reason why I'm doing the conveyor belt method here is we're going to be clearing a lot from these areas, and I don't want them to have to walk all the way back to here. They can walk to there and stack them, and uh, it'll be accessible from both ends. Right? Right. Now, we got those to go in. Ooh, let's see. I want a gatherer. So let's come in here to food. We will come into our, our raw resources. We will look at the gatherer's hut. The gatherer's food basket. So if I look at the gatherer's hut, that's uh, quite a large circumference, right? If I take the food gatherer with basket, smaller. Uh, food gatherer. Use a gatherer basket to define an area for a gatherer to collect acorns. It will require an ongoing supply of baskets for every 34 to 55 acorns. Yeah, we're not doing the basket stuff. Village forest food gathering, small, medium, and large radius options. Okay, if I go large, 
So that's a pretty big area. I go medium. That's pretty good right there. So if I do this, if I come out right to there, all right, and over one more, over one more. There we go. Now I won't hit any of the stockpiles either. So I'm going to go boom. So there's our food gatherer. That one will be a priority. And if we zoom down in here, this is the first area we're going to clear of the rocks and stuff. So I want to come in with a house. Uh, let's see. Let's go theme sets. And uh, where is it? Buildings for the forest. Okay, we got those, right? Uh, all right. Stop. It's somewhat laggy at times. Uh, build a forest deep building. So this is a little forest deep house. No, that's the mushroom. Not what I'm interested in. Okay. Oh yeah. So these swamp ones were pretty cool. Let's uh, let's come in real quick and I'll show you the swamp houses. I think these things look amazing. So uh, let's rotate it around so you can see the front. So the roof is all covered with moss and leaves, and I think that's absolutely outstanding. And that is what we are going to use right out here next to our, right, right there. We're going to go boom. So there's our swamp house. And... I want to bring the road from the swamp house out and down. So we're going to bring it to the ends of the stockpiles, right? Yeah, right there. Awesome. So that'll get us the food. And I want to, right off the bat, prioritize those two buildings. Okay, so let's let them get working. We'll put them on two times speed. They're going to grab their tools, and they're going to head off to uh, hopefully build those two things. The rest of them are going to go build roads, because, uh, you know, as you do. Now we've got the children that are just going to linger around. Let's look at getting a house or two down this way. So we're going to come in... Uh, again, theme sets. We're going to go to these, and we'll do these colonial small houses because um, I like them. And our, you know what? Instead of doing that, that's uh, I don't want the forest deep. Is it these? No. EB themed village. So village wooden house. Yeah. I want that. Not the swamp dwellers. Uh, no. Friendly neighborhood. Friendly house. No, not looking at that. Let's come in here real quick. And uh, let's go to Kid. He's got some really adorable small houses. And uh, these small houses are good for four persons. So we can actually take a few of these small houses and put them in. So why don't we go, uh, we go one right here, okay, we'll variant, and we'll rotate it, and come over this way, one this way, and then we'll rotate it this way, just like that. There you go. That gives us four houses. And another house there. And this one up here. Yikes. And this one right there. Okay. Then I'm going to come back over here to the forest food gatherer circle. 
We are up here. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to gather all of the stone. Alright. Like that. All the stone from the center of this circle. There you go. Now, so this road here is one off from the cart, and I left room to make this three wide. I did not. I left room to make it two wide, didn't I? Just come in here with the country road. So there's one, two, three. Oh, I did. I did leave room to make it three wide. Very good. Okay. So I can build to this side of the road and we'll be fine. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to find the storage barns. I'm going to take a nice big old storage barn. I'm going to go R, R, R. I'm going to back it off the road by one. Right there. That'll be good to go. And, uh, yeah. Oh, let's uh, put a couple of builders in. So as soon as all the supplies are there, they're good to go. So I can pause that barn for now. <clears throat> they are just grabbing the logs, right? Because that doesn't look like logs. Uh, maybe it is. Or not logs, uh, rocks. That might, that might be uh, baskets of iron. Okay. So let's uh, come in here, and for logs, we're going to go, um, I'm going to backspace it out, be 5,000 logs, because we always need logs. We'll go with uh, backspace, backspace, 2,500 stone. We will go with 1,000 iron. We'll go with 250 fuel for the time being. Minerals, textiles, forge, we'll be good there. Uh, these we will upgrade. Yep, we'll go with 100. Whoops, come on, stop it. We'll go with 150 tools. Uh, we'll go with 50,000 food. Uh, 50 clothes should be fine right now. We did have somebody become an adult. Not exactly certain. Why they're all uh, traipsing around the woods here, and not uh, can I can I actually get the uh, the priority on the buildings once again? Clear some trees from uh, here and here. And uh, we'll step up the pace because they're going slow. So this is a small workshop. Small workshop will make iron tools. You know, and I 
think I'll put it right there. I think the small workshop, he can make iron tools, hide coats. Uh, maybe he'll make stone tools as well. Uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll find out. Um, I'm not exactly sure why they're not wanting to build the gatherer, but they're going to starve to death if they don't soon. Hmm. Very interesting. Now let's come back in here, actually. So now almost everybody's grown up. Nobody's got a home yet. I can't get them to build the forester. They need stone and logs. There's plenty lying around. Let's have them collect some wild food. Over here. And over here. And over here. Get it over there. And uh, we're into the autumn. They're going to freeze to death in a little bit. Okay. So it makes sense. They went and got the food. Um, got a couple extra builders. Let's... Uh, Let's pause the tree shack, pause the tree shack, and pause the tree shack. Make sure they're not doing that. Uh, we will pause the workshop. We will pause all of these homes. The old barn is paused. So hopefully that means, okay, now they're starting to make the roads. Really. But yet I still can't get you to... Here, let's pause the swamp house. Which just needs logs, by the way, which is pretty cool. Um, I can't get you to make the gatherer. Hmm. Okay. Anybody? Anybody? Okay. So, it looks as though the gatherer is uh, broken. So let's take that gatherer out. And let's come in here to food. Raw, raw gathering. Uh, tiny gatherer. Let's see what your building looks like. I like it. We'll go with that one. There's the house. Right there. Boom. Okay. And it looks like they went right out to start doing the gathering. Or the clearing, I mean. So they cleared it. I've got enough builders. Educated. Educated, but won't work. Okay. So it looks like all the... Okay, all the stockpiles are now done. So they're doing the clearings first. And we're going to take.
take this road from here right across to there Boy, they're wandering way out. We got plenty of wood and stone now in the stockpiles. All right, they're bringing the wood over for the gatherer finally. Ooh, I was getting, I was getting real nervous there for a moment. If we get this gatherer done. We can, uh, we can call this an episode. Right. And, okay, there you go. We've got the tiny gatherer done. We're going to put uh, four people in it right away because food's the most important thing. All right, so we've got the gatherer done. And uh, when we come back on the next episode, we'll build some houses. And hopefully they do, they do that faster than they did anything else so far. So listen, if you like what you're watching... Hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions, what you'd like to see me do with all of the mods here in uh, Mega Mod, put them in the comments below because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Wednesday for another episode of Burnished. Peace. That was a failure of epic proportions. Unacceptable.